Hey guys, Harry here, back again with another Brick Lane vlog. Uh, today we're topping the boundary wall off that I did. This is the uh, wall I did from the bottom. I've done, I've built all the panels of this wall all the way up and I'm finally topping it off. Uh, we've got uh, this panel that I'm doing here was the one I didn't quite fit yet finished. And I've got another little squint panel that I didn't quite get finished either on one side. So this panel I'm taking... Uh, from pretty low down I've got the scaffold just at you know at nose bleeding level ready uh, so it's high enough to reach the top of the pillar top and we're doing a lot of freehand in this video uh, it's the laborers third week now he's been with me three weeks so this is his fourth day I think because we've had obviously mixed bag of weather uh, you know circumstances illness etc etc covid pandemics you know we've had the fucking lot this uh, over this last month but you know we're back fresh month august you know we're all uh, we're all sorted we've i've got all these details finally we're all set up uh, so you know you know things are looking up things are looking up um you know on this day particularly a lot of level work of building this pillar free handle you can all you'll see this video is me building this pillar to full height free hand to, to uh, tile height uh, with the big rack back on it um, obviously, I couldn't get a profile on. As you can see, the scaffold's tight up to this. Um, it, I was take. I took this about 16 course. This pillar freehand. Um, you know, it's pretty. You know, it's pretty. It's a lot to build freehand, but you know, I've done plenty of these pillars freehand in my time, uh, and I didn't see the point in putting a profile on one side. Uh, I don't. I didn't see it speeding it up that much. So, just carried on. Um, been starting work around half seven, uh, finishing at around between half three and four now i'm getting finished a little bit earlier in general i just haven't got the the energy to carry on till half four anymore especially with new lads helping speed me up a bit i'm finding i'm getting just as much done between half seven and four um basically quarter to four these days because i'm starting i'm starting laying at about quarter to eight you know i'm putting my tools in bucket at quarter to four you know i think you know eight hours a day is long enough for me hour snapping between that um, you know, we're doing a good eight hour, we're doing a good eight hour day, uh, you know, with about half an hour of prep in between, which I'm sort of doing a little bit of a time on that, um, you know, getting tools unloaded and stuff since we've been a bit between jobs, you know, doing like just these little bits of topping off here and there. So it's been a little bit of a mixed bag of, of a week. Um, I've got a, I've got a bit of, I've got a bit of finishing off to do tomorrow night. Or Thursday morning. I, I don't know what, what I'm gonna do. I've got a, I've got that bot that that video I made with me topping that boundary wall off on the other side. There were a bit of there were a bit of brickwork on the squint panel uh, that I built overhand where I was I was getting over the brickwork below being a bit out of level. And what I'd done wrong is I'd, I'd built two little little rack backs and then I'd lined them in and not checked it was not checked they were perfectly level. Uh, and then we've got a little bit of a curved effect with having this a straight two straight rack backs in the line between them so i've got to go and straighten that up with a grinder uh, either thursday morning or tomorrow night depending on if i can be asked to go tomorrow night or not i'll see it i'll see how i'm feeling um yeah a little bit of grinder action on about four or five course of rick just to make it look pretty straight a bit of repointing uh, you know and jobs are good in there got a got a got a phone call and a picture sent through about you know something they weren't happy with so got to go and alter that good job i've got my nice makita uh you know electric cutter that just just blitzes blitzes through bricks dead easy really easy to handle at height so I, I mean i've got a nice little aluminium hop up and my milk crate and we'll, we'll make short short work of that i should have that done before you know if i get there at seven o'clock i should have it done for eight o'clock no sweat whatsoever uh well not even though i've been on job before i've finished it so uh, and then we're gonna i'll probably be heading back to this uh to this job on thursday to finish this off because i've got at least a day tomorrow on this wall to get all the tiles and brick and edge on and i might have to do i have to come back on the thursday just to do a little bit of finishing off an odd pillar top or an odd couple of uh an odd you know a couple of meter of brick and edge that i might not get done and uh, that's what I'm planning to do. So in this video, um, you know, I'm going to talk about a few different things. I'm going to talk about physical health when it comes to brick laying out to maintain, you know, your fitness and stuff, and and just you know pacing yourself like 
I'm going to go up, go over a few things as well with new lad, what I've got him doing, what you know, what I found works best, but um, and what I found, you know, when you're trying to, you know, you're cracking on trying to cover wages and stuff, and what's best to do when you've got a labourer. So I've had, had this new lad, you know, only five days so far, you know, including including today, which obviously it's four days on from this video, but obviously in reality it's five days with obviously me being a day in front recording all this. Um, you know, don't sweat it. You know, that's the that's the biggest thing. Don't sweat. Don't over micromanage. Don't fucking hassle him. Just fucking ask him for what you need, and that is it. Just don't don't fucking go above and beyond what you normally do. This is the one thing that I made a mistake with many many years ago. Micromanaging labourers, trying to find them something to do all the time. When a lot of the time, sometimes when you're one on one, there ain't no to do. You gotta just watch. Wait, you know, wait for your brick stacks to go down. Stack them back up. Bring your gobbo. You know, in this for in this case. I smashed all loading up in on the Friday, so we didn't have much to load out. You know, we had a few slates to load out, a few tiles, uh, you know, a few hundred bricks. Fuck all, really, you know. So, a lot of the time, it were up with me, stacking my bricks up to waste height, you know, uh, reloading gobbo, bringing buckets up the scaffold, then he were walking them around to me, passing me them, because obviously we're on a one-board scaffold here. And... Uh, you know, just speeding the process up a little bit. Uh, obviously, couldn't get him laying on pillars. It's dead. You know, it's all pretty technical level work. Nothing really to do there. And then we got him doing. I got him doing a bit of bit of pointing here and there, just doing little bits and ones. Uh, today, he, I, I set him on a little stretch. I did. Did it a fantastic job. Fantastic job. Sponged it off. You know, perfect. Uh, you know, you know, a lot of promise. We're gonna get him doing a bit of spreading tomorrow on, on when I'm doing the tiles. He's going to spread, I'm going to put lay the tiles. Uh, we're going to get him buttering some brick on edge, get him buttering them up. We're just all little bits because uh, he's, he's keen for hands on learning, on getting on trial. So I'm going to do as much as I can with the sort of limited amount of work I've got at the moment. Uh, I'm just doing little bits and bats, really, finishing these, these bits of walls off. It's just a couple of days here, a couple of days there. Um, I've got this double garage I'm starting in within a week within the by the end of this week i reckon i've got hopefully i might be starting it on thursday that'd be ideal but i don't know i'll have to check i'll have to check up on that one so uh but yeah apart from that we've had a pretty mixed bag of weather this of this last week i think it's give good weather this week i'm not sure if we've got any rain coming on the on the thursday or the friday we'll have to check on that um but for the most part, you know, it's been all right. You know what I mean? It's been a pretty, considering I've been on topping boundary walls off, you know, it's not fucking great. You know, you're not going to be earning much more than 200 quid a day on these. You know, on a, I, this day in particular, I got about 550 bricks down. Um, and that was mostly with level. A bit of running in on this straight panel. There's about 13, 13 to 16 cores to run in straight. But majority of me building corners. Um, you know, other hand, a lot of other hand work and stuff because there's only scaffolding at one side. And I have actually, uh, I, you know, unfortunately, I've, I have sustained an injury this week. Uh, I've, 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 put, I've tweaked a nerve in my back, uh, lower back, and I think the reason, because I, the reason I've done it is doing a lot of over hand work, leaning over the wall. So that's one thing that, you know, in future I'm going to have to be more wary of when, I, when doing these. Um, in ideal, what's happened, you know, the reason why I, d I like to set these walls so high and try and get as, as many bricks on as possible is because I don't have to do this. You know, this was a, you know, an idea of a manager trying to speed things along a day or so and it's got to the point now where I've fucking been leaning over this pillar all day uh, and then leaning over all the previous day and now I've sustained a back injury uh, because of it. Uh, it's not too bad. It is painful to walk. It is painful to get up and out of bed and stuff. But the more I walk, the you know the ease, the pain eases a bit. I'm not taking painkillers. I've had a couple of beers, an odd ibuprofen, and I should be able to crack on as normal, really. Uh, but you know, it does bring a tear to your eye now and again. You know, it takes your breath away. There's a few of the pains, but you know, I'm going to work through it for the next few days, and hopefully, you know, it'll just sort it sent out. I've I haven't lift. I haven't. I think I sustained it sitting down in my car after just, you know, at snap time. 
and I think it was just on set from either a bad night's sleep, slept funny, or, uh, you know, could have just been something I'd tweaked the day before, but I don't think it was. I think it was just a lot of, I've been leaning over these walls quite a bit. The last two days I've laid about a thousand bricks so far, and a lot and a lot of that was overhand as well. So uh, that can't help, that, isn't, that doesn't help a lot when you can see I've got five or six inch gap between the scaffold and, you know, my wall. Which it, it's not right. It's not right, really. But it's what I'm having to work with. Um, same again with that. With the other. With the other job I've got to alter. You know, working off too lower scaffold, reaching over and not being able to see what you're doing. Obviously, what's occurred is a bit of bit of bendy brickwork. Obviously, not seeing wall in the overhand sign. So uh, obviously, me having to straighten that up. That's all. A, that's all a consequence of shit scaffolding, shit scaffold heights and. It's it's not on. It's not on really. It's not on for what you know. What quality of work they're wanting and what we're having to do to achieve that on a price, doing it dead cheap really in effect. And uh, you know, you know, sometimes like I I do all these walls on these red row sites, and to be quite honest, they're they're quite shit. They're quite shit to be honest. They're, they're shit bits of work. I make them pay because I'm fast, and that's sort of that sort of top and bottom of it. It's not really. They're not really great bits of work. My mates just started on another job today. Uh, Avant square boxes, fucking hell! It's in, it's a fucking dream. Better prices, you know. You know, you sometimes think what you're doing it for, but you know, in my case, I do it. I've got a family. I can do these walls easy enough. And obviously, this, sustaining this injury today, it's fucking done me no favors. But hopefully, we'll get over it within the next week. And we'll be back to full speed, and uh, you know we'll be, you know we'll be, t we'll be taking, uh, we're just back to normal, really. You know, over at Moonlad can point up well. Um, hopefully, he'll, he'll take to trial pretty good. You know, it is, it is. Look at draw whether that you know they're confident enough on trial or not. You know, but with uh, with how he's looking, it's it's looking well. It's going well. You know, he's happy with he's happy with you know with his money can't fault anything you know that's, that's 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 the best thing there's no worse when you know someone's pissed off they're not getting paid enough that's why i try to pay you know pretty much a premium for a laborer especially on one brick layer for the hours we do we don't you know i don't expect them to get here at seven eight o'clock's perfectly fine i don't expect them to stay well off for five o'clock four o'clock perfectly you know it's a good day's graft um you know eight hours in a day i don't expect more than that really um, because if you're doing that many, if you're doing more hours than that, you're going to start burning your sun out, going to start sustaining injuries. You know, look at myself here. I've been probably pushing the envelope for the last, you know, few weeks to, I think that, that week I worked on my own solo for about, I worked solo for the next best part of two weeks, and I don't think that did me any favours. So pushing the envelope's been, you know, it don't do you any favours, obviously, uh, but that's what this video is going to be about, you know, fucking working through injuries. Um, I'll let you know how I go on, you know, at the moment I'm, I'm, I'm sat up in bed, you know, I can feel it. It's a little bit painful to it, it, get some, I get some mega shooting pains when I'm getting up. Uh, but I'm working through it, you know what I mean? Uh, put a, you know, we're bricklayers at the end of the day. You know, I, I always like to think we're a bit of a cut above the rest. We don't fucking, uh, it's an hard trade. It hasn't changed in the last thousand years. It's not going to trade change anytime soon, and you know, a lot of us now to just crack on. You know, wind, rain, or shine, which a lot of trades, you know, they just don't, they don't, they don't taste them elements that we do. You know what I mean? And having to, having to do what we do, you know, um, I like to say, you know, I say it to my labourer a lot of times. As a bricklayer, you, you know, you, if you're loading the bricks out, the bricklayer is also picking them bricks back up that you've loaded out and put them on a wall. He's picking two heavy things up: a trowel, of, trowel of mortar, and a trial of gobbo whereas you know you whereas as a laborer you're picking up just one thing you know your bricks so it is you know it's it's equally as hard being the bricklayer and the laborer as guys will say all day long in the comments oh you know fucking hell props to your laborer keeping up and stuff like that but at the end of the day you're picking the bricks back up yourself and laying them so you know it's a team effort it's a team effort and it's not going to be underestimated you know with the amount of strain we put on those bodies every day um, you know, to, to me, it's been a real fucking, it's been a real piss off, to be honest. It pissed me off massively because, you know, I know I've done it in non-ideal circumstances working. 
and I've actually st I've completely stopped lifting weights in the last six, seven, eight weeks to a month. So it's not even been because of that. You know, I've deadlifted over 300 kilos in my time powerlifting, and I've never sustained any injury. And today, bent over some fucking wall on someone's fucking house. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's someone's house to you know someone's future fucking home. I've been bending over some one of their fucking garden walls and hurt me back, you know what I mean? It's 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 sickening, it, you know, it pisses you off, but it's the fucking reality of life, you know, these things happen, you know, you 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 hurt, you hurt your centre when you least expect, so we're gonna see how this affects us tomorrow, we got, you know, we're doing some tiles, tiles tomorrow, tile brick on edge, uh, we're gonna, like I said before, get him spread, doing some spreads, uh, you know, getting butter in bricks, we're just gonna see how it goes, see how, how I manage, uh, I'm going to be putting, doing some more recording tomorrow. I've got about three or four videos worth of footage, you know, of me doing some pillar building. I'm just going to probably, after this video, I'll probably not be uploading any more level work. I'm just going to record, record some of me running in. Um, I've got some recording of me running in, so that's what you'll see for the next videos. Um, but, yeah, uh, it's, been a, it's been a mixed week, you know. I've, I've not been... I've, I've, you know, it's been a bit of a bit of a different sort of week for me, uh, to be quite honest. Uh, with the, uh, we just, we just, with, just with this, with the stuff that it's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a shit week, to be quite honest. Over this last, week, we're getting ill and it's just all coming, all come at once, you know. Uh, injured my back, got ill the other week. Misses were ill, you know. It's just fucking come, you know, bad things come in threes. But you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive about everything, to be quite honest. Because you know, I've got pretty much top help at the moment. You know, you know, I've had top performance from from our, from our lad Jamie, new labourer. I can't can't complain at all with that. So I, at least I know I've got someone who's going to be there every day. Um, uh, where, where, where that works available and fucking uh, you know, and gives a good hand because at the moment. I'm needing everything stacking at waist height. He's just having to fucking whack my ass a bit when it comes to getting getting gear because I'm I'm fucking raspberry rippled uh, for the time being. I'll let you know in the next voiceover because I'm not going to be doing any voiceovers for another two days now. Uh, I'm going to probably just scale back the videos a little bit. Um, still, I'm not a thousand subs yet. Well, last video, uh, I've uploaded two videos since I were at 995 subs and I'm still there. So, you know, anyone gives a shove over to 1k. You know, getting four figures, I'd really appreciate that. Um, if you enjoy the videos as well, just give a give a give a like. Uh, you know, give a like, get it up in algorithms, give a subscribe. You know, hit the notification bell. Uh, really appreciate some of the comments as well. I had some lovely comments over the last few days. Um, I, I always, if I've if I, if I've read them, um, I'll always try and put a heart next to them or like them. Uh, and then you'll see that I've read them and if I haven't replied it's just because I ain't got chance and uh, and I've just been doing other stuff because a lot of time these you know bit longer form videos I'm doing of like 40 minutes they're taking up a bit of time uh, so I'm not always a, a chance you know what I mean like other night we had nef we had a niece of her uh, and she were fucking running riot so we didn't, have, we didn't I didn't have time to make a video last night and then our oh, lads loved it though he's had someone to play with and then you know, we had all on the other night. We, um, uh, you know, we just one thing and another. You know, uh, so yeah, um, I'll do a little video when I do when I do this uh, when I do this bit of bit of making good on this little wall. I'll show you how I, how I like to straighten up. You know, curvy brickwork with a grinder. You know, it's not you know it's not technically fucking you know you shouldn't really be doing this sort of stuff. But you know, needs must at the end of the day. You know, you don't want to be st spoiling good brickwork just for the sake of three or four cores. So, we, you know, if we can uh, we can straighten it up, make a neat job of it, I'll show you how to get over a few bits if you end up uh, building something a bit, you know, a bit wonky. It happens now and again, you know, even to myself, I try and pride myself on doing, you know, quality brickwork. But sometimes the circumstance you're laying under, it's sometimes best walking away from it. You know, I try to get over what I can. You can see me, you know, you see me, work in some appalling conditions uh, and that is my downfall at the end of the day i am someone who tries to say yes when i should really say no and walk off uh and you know i in this situation it's not done me any favors i've, I've made a i've made a bit of a quality error um 
I'll put a picture up uh, when I've com when I've completed uh, when I've completed this bit of alteration. Um, I'll tell you how it took me, and I'll, I'll show you before and after, and just and then hopefully you guys can learn from uh, from making them mistakes yourself. Obviously, I still make mistakes even after all these all this time. It just happens when you're on price. You know, corners are cut naturally. It's just the way of the way of the. Uh, it's just the angle of the dangle, as you as one would say. But yeah, it, it does happen, you know, circumstance. Um, I would walk, I remember that day it was 30 degrees, you know, sometimes you ain't got the clearest head on when it's 30 degree out. So yeah. Um, anyway, anyone who's, who's been loving the cooler weather, uh, it's now, it's, it's been eating up over the last couple of days, not been happy about it, but it did drop down to like nines and tens in the morning. So I'm happy about that. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sick of eating now. I'm sick of my, my bricks being fucking bone dry, going off every fucking two seconds. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to get back to a bit of more cooler, you know, weather where you can really put a bit of graft in and not feel knackered. It's it just takes its toll on you being this hot. So, who's feel who's feeling it out there? Give us a shout out uh, in the comments uh, and what you guys on at the moment. Give us a give us a comment. What you guys are building at the moment? Are you, are you on private work doing extensions? You're on site, what you're doing, square boxes, houses with detail. Give us a comment, because I'm interested to know. You know, my mate, one of my good mates has fucking started on square boxes uh, this week, and uh, it's fucking tempting hearing about it. It sounds amazing on that phone. Um, but end of the day, I've been with this sub that I'm with for three years, don't really plan on moving anytime soon. Uh, I just want to, if I could keep work flowing through, and uh, keep on the same page, wages keep getting paid well, you know, it's, uh, you know, that's good enough for me at the moment on these walls. Uh, I, I'll be glad again getting on a garage, it's a single garage, I'm getting on with another wall attached, perforated bricks, Whoa, it sounds a dream compared to doing these fucking, you know, Sahara Desert fucking frog bastards, so, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what's happening, you can see JMO there, uh, you know, get, I've just something nice as well, just having someone to chat to, to be honest, because me and old man didn't used to chat that much often, and a lot of the time he were just struggling, he were in pain as well with his hip, just like I'm in pain with my back now, uh, and uh, it's not, it, it, it ain't nice when you're trying to do a job and you're in pain all the time, but uh, something, something different, something different, I'm, uh, I'm excited to try to teach Jamie a few things, a few uh, a thing or two on travel, and just see... You know, you get a you know I get a bit of a buzz off helping people. It, you know, it's uh, it, it it adds a bit more to your day. That's a bit a big reason why I do these videos. You know, get a buzz when people uh, you know when people find them helpful, useful, and obviously I get to show a bit of my creative side on here. Uh, you know, obviously a lot of the time it's a bit mundane, garden walls all day and stuff, and it's not always the uh, it's not always the most ideal entertaining content, but. I try to voice over these videos, you know, with a decent length for you guys, really give you something to listen to. I know they're a bit more podcasty style videos, really, rather than, you know, uh, day in the life project videos or like private job videos where you can sort of go through the whole build. But um, my good mate, Izzy the Brick, or Izzy the Bricky as he's called on YouTube, he, he makes quite a few videos now, he's blowing up. And he left a comment that, that I was really actually you know, I, I never thought about it this way, but he said he likes to see the progression on site, which, you know, from job to job, whereas he was on six different private jobs, you know, in one week. So doing a day on each one, and he says, it's nice to see someone having some real-time progress, you know, just one brick in a labourer going from job to job, which I never really thought, uh, to be honest, because I know a lot of brick lane channels, there's, uh, considering Changi don't upload his, his site videos anymore, and, and uh, after, and the tricky brickies like our musical gangs with a different gang every day, uh, it, you know it's hard to see progress. You know when you're uh, when you're watching, you know if you're not always if you're working in different situations all the time, or if you're in the same situation as Steve and Alex doing different little private jobs every day, you know doing bits of patching, remedials and stuff. It, it's hard to see your progress of you know how much you can actually get done in a day. Uh, probably. For for if you want to see the more sort of, it, it, you know, it's hard to tell sometimes with with, with Charlie Collison's videos with his gang. You don't know how much they're all doing because there's that many of them now. It's it's hard to scale, but um, 
you know, I appreciate those comments about seeing progress. You know, it is a true representation I try to bring to YouTube of, you know, what we're doing a day, what I do in a day. You know, I've said it many a times, I don't lay many, many more than six, seven hundred bricks in a day. You know, like on this type of work, I'm, I'll be lucky to lay 500 in a day. You know, with all this pillar work and free hand and over hand and bending me back and injuring it, <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, 500 bricks is easily enough in a day. You know, you could pay a, pay a labourer a good wage out of that. Um, you're not going to be earning top money. Don't get me wrong, you're not earning top money just laying 500 bricks in a day. But if you can do that on any type of work, you're onto a winner. Any type of work, you're onto a winner. You know, we're getting close to 600 a thou these days. Uh, so, you know, you're earning about 200. I'm earning about 200 pound a day. That's what I sort of base my baseline on. You know, there is times where I've earned more. I've earned 400 in a day, 350, 300. Uh, but, you know, if, if I'm around 200, 250 a day, you know, I know some people consider that day work, but I consider it a good price wage, you know what I mean, for myself. Eight hours a day, not killing your sen, chill down, good hour snap. You know, that's what I like, that's my baseline. If I can earn, if I can earn 200 pound a day, that's that's good enough for me a lot of the time, especially with conditions we have. You know, winter, winter wet bricks. You know, material stoppages. It's uh, it, you know, I think I think that's a that's a good day's work. Don't leave us a comment. Leave a comment also in comment section. What you what you guys get in on day work? You any guys who just do dedicated day workers or on private jobs? What you earning in a day? Two hundreds, three hundreds. Give us a shout. Um, I don't think anyone's really earning much more than three or four hundred a day. You know, it's only on specific days, specific weeks, specific lifts of an house you're going to earn, you know, really good money. I want to hear you guys what your average are earning. You know, I think anything over a thousand pound a week's good. I think it, you know, you'll hear people online saying, oh, if you're in a thousand pound a week, you're shit. But I tell you what, there's not many, not many out there who do it consistently. You know. And there's not many out there who are honest either, because I know I I know how much how much bricklayers are earning. You can just see by what work they turn out, and you know you've got to be pretty damn fast to earn, you know, over fifteen hundred pound a week. And you know, like, like I said to my, like I said myself, I don't earn that very often, and I don't think many people would in the situation that uh, some of the work I undertake anyway. It's fucking it's not straight by any means. So yeah. But anyway, guys, thanks you very much for watching. I'm gonna now add a bit of add a bit of music to the end. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the voiceovers uh, and just a few a bit of few of my anecdotal opinions. So yeah, um, <laughs> you know, wish me wish me good luck on recovering with me back, um, and I will see you guys in a couple of days with another video. Peace out. <laughs>
Thank you.